Hey everyone, welcome back to She Tried It. Today is my second video of celebrating black makers. I just completed a pattern from the queen herself, Tony Lipsy. I have another pattern coming from another black designer and I realized it was time to show some of my fellow makers some love. Just to be clear, this series is by no means a way of saying support these people simply because they're black. No. This is also not a list of black makers you can go follow so that if someone wants to cancel you for being racist, you can say, I'm not racist, look at all these black people I follow. No ma'am. This is a list of highly talented, extremely creative makers that you might not have heard of because of the way the algorithm works, if you know what I mean. But hey, this isn't a rant session, this is a celebration. Let's talk about these makers. Up first, we have Shantae Monique of Celestial Knitter. Shantae is a knitter, spinner, fiber enthusiast, budding sewist, pattern tester, gardener, cat lover, and I will add to that list a gorgeous natural. There are some makers out there, like myself, that will slay in their neutral colors, but then there are other makers out there that remind the world that melanin matched with color is a match made in heaven, and I mean all colors. Shantae's feed literally screams melanated Skittle vibes. If you need a bit more color on your feed, go give Shantae a follow. Next up is Hook and Eye Shop. As crazy as it sounds, I have never made a granny square before in my life. That's a quintessential beginner crochet milestone that I haven't done yet. Looking at these gorgeous granny square blankets makes me want to make one so bad. I promise you, if she ever releases patterns for these blankets, I'm buying it. As gorgeous as these blankets are, that's not the only thing that stands out. It's the rings and the background music that she uses for her videos. I promise. I feel like I need to light some incense and meditate when I scroll through her feed. I believe her blankets are for sale on her Etsy shop, but at the time of making this video, her shop is closed. Be sure to check her store in the description box below to see if you can snag one of these gorgeous blankets. Next is Leah from I Play With Fiber. I think I first found Leah from her hilarious Instagram reels. She has such a positive personality that it's impossible not to follow her page. She also has some amazing crochet patterns for sale, and I'll be sure to link all of them below. And I didn't know it until preparing for this video, but Leah also has a YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe to that. In addition to crochet and knit, Leah is really into skating, which is something I'm not capable of doing. If you want to enjoy some fun skate videos, be sure to go check her out. Next, we have Joan Aoko. I hope I said that right. She's a crocheter I first found through YouTube. She has a big channel, so you've probably already heard of her. She does amazing pattern tutorials on her channel that are perfect for beginners. She recently made a tutorial for these two-tone shorts that are absolutely gorgeous. Also, she recently opened up a yarn store in Kenya. Who doesn't love a black entrepreneur? If you're interested in seeing more of her content, be sure to check out the description box below. Earth Tones Girl. Now y'all know that name sounds right up my alley. Denise of Earth Tones Girl is a knitter extraordinaire. She has a podcast that is enjoyed by many and has sock patterns for sale. I constantly hear knitters rave most about her No Fear Sock Knitting series. If sock knitting is something that completely terrifies you, this is a YouTube series you must check out. I'll link the first video in the series so you can just binge watch the whole playlist. Oh, and of course, I have to mention how gorgeous her natural hair is. I'm nervous about this pronunciation, but I'm gonna go with Hand Knit by Exoli. This is a gorgeous knit and crochet designer. I found her in a very interesting way. I had a dream one night of a crochet design I wanted to make for some crochet espadrille standals. I figured out what materials and stitch I wanted to use, but before I got started making it, I looked to see if anyone else had already come up with this. I looked up the hashtag crochet standals or something like that on Instagram and found these stunning shoes. They are exactly what I pictured in my dream. Literally no difference. I may still try to create these sandals, but I will not share a pattern because she sells these sandals on her website. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a pattern for these sandals. She also has tons of other hand-knitted pieces for sale on her website. If you're into chunky knitwear, Exoli is your girl. If you are an aspiring crochet or knit designer, or if you already have some designs out and it's not going as you hoped, the next maker is for you. Tian of Knit Designs by Tian has a slogan of transforming indie designers into sought after designers. If you have been searching for tips and tricks on how to help your pattern business, please go look at Tian's page. Tian is an expert knitter and crochet designer, technical editor, author, and course creator. 
Since leaving the corporate world behind, she built a business around creativity, craft, and helping women build their own businesses that are profitable and sustainable. Kian has developed a brand new video course called Get Published to help aspiring knit and crochet pattern designers navigate the world of submitting, designing, editing, publishing, and so much more. While this series was developed for all who are interested in publishing pattern designs, this initiative was created specifically to empower BIPOC designers to pursue publishing. If you are a black designer looking for some black guidance, this is it. She offers tons of free coaching on her Instagram and offers paid coaching via Patreon and paid courses through her website. Tian also has tons of patterns available on the Wheat Crochet website and a lot of them are free. Next is Ron T. Girl, thank you so much for the phonetic pronunciation of your name. I hope I still didn't mess it up. Anyways, Ron T is a vibe. She is a knitwear designer from London. She makes absolutely gorgeous hand knit pieces and she styles them to perfection. I am highly inspired by everything she makes. She also has hand knit patterns for sale. If you want to be inspired, go give her a follow. Next up is Shanice of Handcrafted by Shanice yet another positive maker with a gorgeous smile. The completed makes from Shanice are simply magical. When I see her projects come in my timeline, I just stare at it and wonder how the heck she did it. She is almost always working on a test. So if you wanna be up to date on knit and crochet design releases, Shanice is the one to follow. Last but certainly not least is Drea of Drea's Hook. Drea is a crocheter, knitter, and Tunisian crocheter. She can do it all. Drea has a pattern for sale that is perfect for any beginner. Her focus is helping makers improve their crochet skills. Drea also has a YouTube channel that I'll be sure to link below, so be sure to go subscribe. Those are all the makers I have for today. If you're not new to my channel, you might have noticed that I'm also wearing a piece from a black designer. This is the Urban Chic Cardi that I made from Designs by Key. And of course, I have a video all about it that I'll link below. Since making my first episode in the series, I created a black maker playlist that has all the makes from all the black designers that I made from. I'll be sure to link that below as well. See you in my next video. Bye!